I know that I already did a marinara recipe, but that was with canned tomatoes. I have here from my garden, beautiful tomatoes, basil, and I'm going to show you how to use your garden ingredients to make a beautiful marinara. I have about 12 tomatoes, so what I'm going to do is now I'm going to chop them up to get them ready to cook. Look how beautiful they are inside, right? Make sure you take the tops off. Now this is like 12 tomatoes, but the weight of it is two pounds. So you want at least two pounds of fresh tomatoes to make this. To about four or five tablespoons of olive oil, maybe a little more than that, I don't know. I'm gonna add four cloves of minced garlic. And as soon as that's fragrant, which is right now, I'm gonna add my tomatoes. Ooh, nice sizzle. Now you're gonna get your basil and you're gonna chop it up to put it in your sauce. And just give it a nice rough chop. Now add your basil, your salt. I add about a teaspoon of salt and then later I taste it and see if it's good. Ground pepper, same thing, about a teaspoon, maybe a half a teaspoon. Look at that, it's looking good already, right? Yep. Now this is optional, but I like to add a pinch of crushed red pepper. Not too much, just a little bit. And then add about a quarter cup of red wine. This is optional, but I like to do this. If you don't have red wine, you can add some chicken stock or white wine. Anything you want, just throw wine in there. Now you're going to let this cook on uncovered for about 20 minutes, and then we're going to come back to it. After 20 minutes of cooking, now we're gonna blend some of it up. Now I don't like blending all of it because I like it a little bit chunky. And you can either do this with a potato masher or if you have a glass blender, you can do it in that. But I recommend getting one of these immersion blenders for your kitchen. They're so inexpensive and they're so handy. Now I'm gonna cook this uncovered on low heat for about an hour and a half or two hours and that should give it the consistency that I like. And here's what it looks like. Now, mine took about an hour and 15 minutes to get to this consistency because I had a wide pan. If I had it in a smaller saucepan, it would have taken longer. But look at that, isn't that gorgeous? Ooh, let's plate this up. And here it is, there's your finished product. Isn't it gorgeous? And it tastes amazing, doesn't it? Very good. Let's oh, go. it's so beautiful, yeah. See, I gotta go, I gotta wrap this up because he's starving. I hope you try this. It's so easy to make a sauce out of fresh tomatoes. And please give this video a thumbs up and enjoy. For more dinner recipes, check out my playlist. And don't forget to subscribe. I post a new video every Saturday. <laughs>